it's Izzy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've wanted to film for so long but I've just never done it and I don't know why I've never done it but it's a good idea so today I'm going to do it. So today's video is going to be what not to say to an amputee. Now obviously if you've ever said this to an amputee then don't feel guilty, just learn from this video. This is just meant to try and educate you guys on what is too much to say to someone and by saying this to someone it can actually affect them because people don't seem to understand which I completely get but it's kind of a little bit frustrating. Okay so the first one is do you miss them? Now, you'd be properly surprised by the amount of people that ask me this question. And it's one of them questions that, where it's just, what do you want me to reply to that? Like, do you know what I mean? There's not a response that I can say to that. So, every time anyone asks me that, I'm just a bit like, um, because I've come to terms with not having any arms or legs. And someone asking me that, it's just a bit like, so anytime anyone asks me that it does really get on my nerves so I'm not gonna lie the next one I don't really get this in real life but I get it on all of my videos and it's if that happened to me I would kill myself firstly stop apply stop implying that my life is so bad that the only way to get out of it is to die because it's really not secondly that's really disrespectful to me because I'm not gonna go killing myself. Um, if you don't know what happened to me, I got meningitis when I was seven. I do have a whole video on that. But by getting meningitis, I almost died. So I fought for my life, even though, shocker, I fought to have my arms and legs missing. Because to me, that is better than dying. So for people to say that, it's just really inconsiderate. For you, you won't be able to deal with it. But me personally, I can, and it happened to me, so it is just a bit like well it didn't happen to you so why are you telling me this it, it just really seems like people imply that your life is awful and it's really not so many comments from people um making out that my life is awful and that i sit and cry which i guess it's what people perceive people do with disabilities i mean i personally i'm not going to promote anything like that i sit here and talk about all the positives yes all the time there isn't positives i will say that sometimes it is a bit annoying but to me i'd much rather live with my disability than die because of it so please refrain from writing that in my comment section because it's really annoying okay so the next one is oh you you, you won't be able to do that don't tell me what i can't do the amount of people that are like oh um yeah you you won't you won't be able to do that and i'm just like do you know what i'm gonna do it now it's so irritating that people think they can just tell me what I can and can't do. And like, obviously, this sounds like I'm being a sport brat going, oh my God, people will let me do this. But like, seriously, it will be the tiniest things. People are like, oh yeah, you won't be able to do that by yourself or you won't be able to do that. I'm fine with you going, are you okay to do that? But just assuming and making assumptions that I'm not able to do that is really frustrating, it's really irritating. And quite frankly, even if I couldn't do it, what you were saying, I would then find a way to do it just to prove you wrong. So, so the next one is how do I go to the toilet? How do I get dressed? It's, I get that people are curious about it, but in my head, I'm just like, you would never ask that to an able-bodied person. So why does it become acceptable to ask how I go to the toilet or how I deal with my period or how I do this, how I do that? But like, not even like, oh, how do you write? Because I understand that. But questions that I just wouldn't be seen acceptable if you ask someone that was able-bodied. I don't understand why people just think it's acceptable to ask people anything. Like, if you wouldn't ask someone able-bodied, like, if you're not going to go up to them and go, oh, how'd you, how'd you go to the toilet? It's a bit annoying if you ask me that, because I'm like, when, when did it come acceptable to ask people that? But some people might be willing to tell you, and I know I have told people before. So the next one is when people try and suggest things when they really don't have a clue. Now, I get that people are trying to be helpful, but obviously I live my life as a quadruple amputee. So I think I would have tried everything you're suggesting because 
I'm living it through my perspective, so it's kind of a little bit annoying when people that are completely clueless go, oh, have you tried doing this? Because I'm like, no, I haven't. Of course I have. <laughs> so the next one doesn't really apply to me, but it could apply to other amputees. So it's what happened to you. Now I am so, like I will tell anyone what happened to me. However, some other people might be a bit less willing to talk to people about it, which is completely fine and you have to respect people for that. So maybe don't go up to amputees you see in the street and ask them what happened to them because they might not like it. And I get it all the time, people coming up and going, what happened to you? But obviously I'm fine telling, but I get that if an amputee didn't want to tell people, it'd be a bit awkward in that situation if someone's caught to you asking you. Okay, so the next one is when people go, do you need help? And ask, like, oh, you need help? Like, it's, I get that people are trying to be nice. All of these, well, not all of these, but some of these, I get that people are trying to be nice. But if I need help, I will ask for help and I just find it a little bit irritating and almost undermining if people are assuming that I can't do things that I'm capable of. This next one is so irritating. If you ever look through my comments, you will see the annoying people that comment funny, what they think are funny jokes about my disability, such as, oh, high five. These people are not funny. They think that they've made up a great joke about someone that doesn't have any hands or doesn't have any legs. But hun, I've heard it all. I've heard every single possible joke there is about an amputee because everyone thinks they're funny, thinks it's like, ah. everyone will be like, oh my God, no, just don't comment it. Fair enough if you're thinking of it, but just don't comment it because quite frankly i don't want to see it it's annoying i don't even find it upsetting it's just irritating for my comments to be filled with when people are saying it with the intention of being horrible or upsetting me it won't upset me like it really won't so you failed if you're trying to upset me but yeah the moral of that one is you're not funny <laughs> and it, yeah just don't comment things like that you're just being mean and i don't like people that are mean Okay, so the next one is when people say it's not fair because you get extra time or because you have so many followers. Now, the reason I get extra time in exams is because of my disability. The reason my YouTube channel started was because of my disability. I work hard because of my disability. And it's really frustrating when people say it's not fair that you get this, it's not fair that you do that. Because, it's bit like when it's things that I got because of my disability. Because I'm like, I almost died. You know, I almost died. And I'm really trying to rebuild and back up my life and be as normal as possible. So it's so frustrating when people are like, oh, well, it's not fair because, well, I got this because I lost my arms and legs. I think that's not fair rather than, oh, I got some free things or whatever. And I mean, I get, the way people say it but it's really annoying and i'm just kind of like think about what you're saying you're saying it's not fair that i get things because i lost my arms and it's like that's ridiculous so the last one is probably my most commonly said thing so everyone sees people with disabilities and says i feel sorry for you why do you feel sorry for me why do you feel the need to feel sorry for me i you know i am able to do pretty much everything anyone else can do and by you saying you feel sorry for me, it makes me think that there is something people should feel sorry about. Like there's something wrong with how I'm living my life. I get that what I went through was a bit rubbish. I get that. But people saying, oh, I feel sorry for you. And I get this a lot with like, I'll get in a taxi and people, the drivers will be like, oh, I feel really sorry for you. I'm like, that's not gonna help me. It's irritating. It's implying that I'm unable to do anything. It's implying that my life's really awful, which both of them things aren't true. So I just am a bit like, um, you don't feel sorry for me. You really don't have to feel sorry for me. I'm doing anything I wanna do. This, what I'm doing right now is literally my dream, being able to make being able to make videos and have an audience that watch them, be able to help other people, be able to inspire other amputees to do whatever they can do, being able to go and talk to people. Like, they're all things I've been so passionate about and I wasn't able to do that 
until I got meningitis. So I don't sit around all day. I go to school, I'm doing my exams, help me for that. That's what you should feel sorry for me about. Do you know, I'm doing my YouTube, doing my Instagram, going around doing this. Like everything I'm doing is amazing and it's kind of a reality check into, oh yeah, you, have, you are disabled when people are like, I feel sorry for you. But yeah, if you did like this video and would like other videos similar to this, then do let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys.